Hi folks! In another video I showed you this neat Copenhagen solar cooker and how to assemble it and set it up. In this video I'll show you step by step how to make your own. This design was invented by Cher and Clausen. If you prefer to buy one instead, she sells them at this website. Here are all the things you'll need. You need some poster board. In this case these are 28 inch by 22 inch. You need a uh, cardboard box. Uh, you don't need much. You only need 8 inch by 8 inch, but that's a box. You need some aluminum foil and then some uh, shoelace or t uh, twist ties like this. To make the reflectors you need to cut out four pieces of cardboard, 14 inch by 14 inch, and you'll need to cover them with aluminum foil. And my aluminum foil is only 12 inches wide, so I need to cut uh, 12 by 14, and then another 2 by 14. You probably recall I had orange poster board and blue poster board. After some failed glue tests, I had to cut out some more using this green. And I'm using a business card to spread the glue. Okay, and then to um that them out so they can dry over time. So now I'm just taping up the edges to protect them. So here's the 8 inch base made out of that cardboard box. I've glued aluminum foil to one side of it. Uh, the glue I used is just this school glue. Now in this next step we're going to be doing some hammering. Since I'm using the floor here I put a piece of wood to protect the floor. I took that box, the one that I cut the 8 inch piece out of, and I put it on top of that. And then take your reflectors and put them on top of the box such that they make a perfect square. Then take your 8 inch base and put it on there so that the, line, the corners all line up with the lines. Then I suggest you draw a line on the base like so. Then take your nails, need a few. Oh, actually, before you do that, I recommend you number. Put a one here and a one here on this panel, two here, two here, because we're not going to be do pre doing any precision here. So it's better if we remember which panel goes where on the base. And then take your nail and position it so it's about, you know, further back, about halfway here. And um, if you can't push it through, pound it. I think I've gone all the way to the wood there. Make sure you've gone through the base and the panel. You basically want the uh, nails so that they're far from the edge of the panel. So here it's about a half inch in from the edge of the panel. And this one likewise is about a half inch in from the edge of the panel. Here we go. Now you can remove them. Next you need to enlarge the holes. Uh, so what I've done is I've just taken an X-Acto knife, stick it in each hole, and give it a little twist. So do this however you want. You need to do it so that your twist tie, if you're using twist ties, will go through easily. Or if you're using shoelace, so that your shoelace will go in easily. But you don't want it too, too loose either. Those are good. And do the same for the reflectors as well. Okay, now to assemble it. I like the shoelace approach best, uh, personally. So what you do is you take, you have a one right here, so you take panel number one, put it on top, take a shoelace and come up through the base like that. Pull it through, and I pull it through for my length of shoelace anyway. I pull it through so there's about that much left. But that's just my length of shoelace. And then go back down through here. Take 
Tower number, oops, uh, four is next. There we go. And here it is once again, boiling an egg for me. Mmm. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching. Be sure and check out my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org, for more videos like this. That includes the one I mentioned, all about using this Copenhagen solar cooker, another about a different solar cooker, the modified Cook It, and a series about one of my own design, my cone solar cooker. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or leave a question or a comment below. See you in a bit.